Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Renton Arb Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about comic books I've read, where you can find those comic books, and all sorts of stuff like that. Because basically, uh, I'm reading a bunch of comic books that I'm finding on Kickstarter, and they're comic books that I think you all should know about. And starting off with one that I think you all should know about, how about my own? Uh, I make Peter Pan the Vampire comics that you can find on IndiePlanet.com. And you can download three different issues, one, two, and three, for free digitally, or you can buy the hard copies, send me some five bucks, whatever, and uh, make me smile. Anyway, let's see here. Yeah, as you know, I print through Kablam, and uh, yep, that's it. Okay, that was awkward. I don't know why I did that part. So let me start off with one here that is called, oh my gosh, I'm dropping stuff. The note is staticking to the back cover here. This is Half Past Danger, the Christmas special. Nope. Yeah, that's what. Away in a Danger. That's a catchy little thing. So, yeah, I should have read this and reviewed it uh, last month, but as you know, December December's pretty busy for me. I've got five kids and uh, a full-time job and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, I spend a lot of time with my kids, and Christmas was extra crazy taking them out shopping and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, I was able to read this, though, in December, and it was uh, really fun getting in the Christmas spirit, reading this stuff, and uh, it made me... Check out that back cover, by the way, since I'm looking at it right now. Yes. So, yeah, Away in a, in a Danger is the Christmas special. It was awesome seeing these guys hanging out in... Uh, the office celebrating Christmas together and stuff like that and uh, I have not read any Half Past Dangers yet other than this one and uh, as that one right there is advertising Half Past Danger 3 it's got me interested in the book so I'm gonna be looking up that as soon as uh, I get a chance and uh, you know obviously I'm gonna throw you some show notes and tweet about where uh, where you can get Half Past Danger and stuff like that so while I'm doing that, I will probably buy me some copies of 1, 2, and 3, if I can find them, and uh, I will send you links to those as well. So, let me start off with some credits. This is an anthology, Half Past Danger 1 here, and so it's got a huge, huge amount of credits here. Chapter 1, Away in a Danger, is story and art by Stephen Mooney, colors by Fiona Farrell, Chapter 2 was Silent Night. Art and art was story and art was by Declan Shavley and colors by Fiona Farrell. Chapter 3, story 3 was In the Bleak Midwinter. Art by Stephen Byrne. Story by Byrne and Mooney. And colors by Stephen Byrne. Chapter 3 was Just for One Day. Story and art by Nick Roche. Colors by Fiona Farrell. Chapter 5 is Ding Dong Merrily on High. Story by Mooney. Art by Will Slin Slinney. And colors by Fiona Farrell. S Story 6 was Angels I Have Heard on High. With Story by Mooney, art by Stephen Thompson, colors by Fiona Farrell, and seven, We Three Kings, with a story by Mooney, art by P.J. Holden, and colors by Fiona Farrell. Eight was Little Drummer Boy, with story by Mooney, art by Nate Stockman, colors by Fiona Farrell, and nine, Joy to the World, with story and art by Jamie Tehan, and colors by Fiona Farrell. And there's a pinup section with lots of fun stuff. Art by Tom Moore, Isabella von Metz, sorry, it's in cursive, Metzerat, and Kyan Tormi, and Dave O'Sullivan. So, yes, Half uh, Past Danger, it was a good read. There's some ninjas in it, there's dinosaurs, there are spies. Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of glare on the page here. Sorry. And so, yeah, I, I quite enjoyed this, and I do 
plan on looking up Half Past Danger and seeing what else is in store for these spies. And uh, let me see here. What's my notes? Yeah, so I meant to review this in December. That's what my notes say. And I, I did find this to be an interesting world. I like how it pl takes place in 1944. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's the it's the story about a firm of the first special service members, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, I do I do I did enjoy uh, this Christmas special, and it's got me interested in uh, all the fun stuff. Oh yeah, not to mention, as you may have seen from my Twitter feed, uh, it came with a pin that says Half Past Danger. Oh, there it is. Too much glare on that one, so yeah, check that one out. So, as you know, I wear these pins in uh, my ties to church every Sunday. So, And I also like to share pictures of them, because why collect something unless to share it, right? I don't know. Anyway, I love, I love posting pictures of uh, my weekly pin that I wear to church. And uh, I've got my boys in on it now. They're collecting pins, usually things from Mario or uh, their favorite cartoons, whatnot. But yeah, that's a, that was a cool pin. I'm glad I added it to my collection. Half Past Danger. And I will be looking up Half Past Danger by Stephen Mooney here. Seeing what else is in store, what else is in the world of uh, Half Past Danger. So be sure to follow me on Twitter to find uh, where, to, where to get those also yourself. Oh yeah, I think this is a sticker. So that will be going on the box that I keep it in. Here's another print that will be... Uh, thrown up to this wall here somewhere yeah you know stuff like that so yep half past danger done drop the sticker again gosh dang it and drop my notes for the next book the next book is bloodlines and uh so i think i might have already reviewed volume two here but uh i'm i reread it to refresh my memory for while i read volume two so volume, or volume three, whatever. Anyway, so I'm reviewing volumes two and three in this one. And, uh, oh yeah, these are printed at Kablam, who is uh, the same place that I like to print my comics through, so that's cool. And uh, I love how they do a, a cosplay cover with uh, Ivy cosplay on that one right there. Some seriously good, good artwork in these books. I love it, and it, I don't know if you can tell from me showing you here, but uh, this is a little bit smaller than regular size comic books. Let's see here. Hold up, Half Past Danger here. So yeah, here's Half Past Danger, and this Bloodlines comic is a little bit smaller. I like it. It works for me. Uh, the smaller size, it's cool. Um, Manga size is what is called in the Kickstarter notes and whatnot, and uh, yeah, so far it's a pretty good storyline. And let me see what my notes are here for issue two. My name is in the thank you page in the back here. Let's see here. There's the thank you page, and it says, doo -doo -doo -doo. "What the." Gary Brantner of Renton Arb Studios Comics is on there. I don't know if you can... It's not focusing. It's kind of glaring. Too hard to read. So the story in issue two here is Lily versus v Bianca. Lily, Lilith uh, thinks that she's the rightful ruler of the vampires and is making problems for Bianca, the current leader. And things are starting to heat up as new characters are entering the story. And... Uh, so that's issue two, but really this it, this review is mainly going to be about uh, Vampire Bloodlines 3, which this was cool. Uh, so they did two different versions here. Let me see here. They can match. So they've got, as you can see, these are also small. And they did the uh, cosplay cover and the illustrated cover. I got one of each. Is it too glary? I can't tell. So they made a match. That's... That's the cosplay cover over here. And this is the uh, drawn cover. Wait. Yep. That's right. And uh, then on the reverse side is also drawn cover and cosplay covered. 
So that's pretty cool. So the cosplay cover has cosplay on both sides, and the drawn cover has the drawn on both. Anyway, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. And then there's the thank you page again. Gary Brantner of Renarb Studios Comics is in there somewhere. Probably alphabetically. Nope, doesn't look like it. Anyway, yeah. So that's really cool. And uh, all right, let me tell you some credits here while I've got this book. So the credits here for Vampire Bloodlines, number three, is writer and author. Well, is Christopher Mayer. Artist is Avionetka. Editor is Tara S. Cosplay covers are Dana and Ivy Cosplay. Cover two, the illustrated one, is by Keith Garvey. Cover three is Jennifer Leonard Omero Arts. All right. So, uh, yeah. I love the illustration. They're doing an awesome job in this. Uh, Avia Netka is the illustrator in this. Love the art style. The storyline is awesome. So, Bianca here. Bianca is meeting with the mayor to publicly address this uh, a bunch of human deaths and uh, by vampires and to denounce uh, vampires killing people and to announce that a synthetic blood has been created that's both viable for human transfusions and for vampire consumption. So basically uh, we're seeing a little bit of true blood coming on happening and uh, yeah good illustrations and so while this is all happening a small group is planning an assassination that will go through during the press conference and uh, Things happen, the assassination attempt goes awry, but it's all caught on camera anyway, so pretty cool stuff. Uh, yeah, it really, the story is going along really fast, and uh, one of these times when they're all collected together, and I finally have all the Kickstarters that I backed in one place, I will go through and read them all in one fluid read, and uh, yes. But uh, I'm really enjoying uh, Vampire Diaries, not Vampire Diaries, um, Vampire Bloodlines, really good storyline, and uh, liking, liking where that's heading, the direction they're taking with that. So Vampire Bloodlines number four is on Kickstarter right now. It is 24 pages of manga-sized comic, and this story will be about the aftermath of that assassination attack from issue three. So I can't wait to see what's going on with that one and uh, see how that one's coming. Really good read. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I really like the, the way that they're doing this. And hopefully uh, when they're all completed, they do collect them all into a trade paperback version of them all and uh, release that through Kick, uh, Kablam and Kickstarter also. Oh yeah, and this one also came with a ton of... Well, I got... I got a sheet of stickers here, all the main characters, Lilith and uh, Bianca and that. Got some trading cards with that. And let's see here. I got a bookmark, some postcards, Ooh, a little racy there, but still kind of PG-ish. And there's the cosplayer Ivy. And there's a drawn version of Ivy. And more stickers. Oh yeah, and then I got this uh, pinup that I can put on my wall here. Cosplayers Ivy and Dana. And oh look, it's autographed too, that's cool. So yeah, uh, Vampire Bloodlines number four is on Kickstarter right now. Until, did I tell you a date on that one? Nope, I did not tell you a date. But it's on Vam on uh, Kickstarter. I think it's on there until uh, the end of January, so you better check that out quick. And, uh, yeah. Next up on my read is Cult Heroes number two. That was a good read. Um, 
One thing I really love about Cult Heroes is uh, this crazy, crazy art style. I mean, uh, it's drawn pretty cool, but then the coloring on this just blows me away every time. And uh, yeah, just crazy. Um, so let me tell you the credits for Cult Heroes. Cult Heroes is written and illustrated by Raymond Estrada. The entire thing, whole shebang, lettered, colored, written, drawn, all of it by Raymond Estrada. So that guy's doing a killer work. Um, killer work, haha. <laughs> Being as how the uh, story is about killing superheroes. And uh, yeah, but yeah, I, I love the art style, love the coloring style. You could even get uh, the t-shirt that this girl right here is wearing is on the Kickstarter for issue three right now. So that's pretty cool. Um, it says pasta on her shirt. And uh, because uh, during the storyline, she stops in at a pizza place. And I guess she ate so much pizza that she won uh, the t-shirt, something like that. So anyway, yeah, and there's a backup story in here with of the the ghosting machine. That was pretty cool. That was also by Raymond Estrada. So yeah, Kickstarter for um, issue four. Where did that my notes go? There's no thank you page in these, unfortunately. But uh, Kickstarter for issue three is on uh, on right now until February third. A heroic, heroically horrific comic book series about killing your heroes. 24 pages of awesomeness um, is on Kickstarter right now. Check that out. I will have note. I will have links to that on my Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter to uh, see the links for that. Really cool looking art stuff. I've even got a bunch of stickers that came with this one. Where I don't know. I I think I've already stuck it to my comic book box. But uh, yeah, paper bullets and uh, cult hero stickers all over. Oh yeah, here they are. I can show you my comic book lid right here. There's the stickers, cult heroes. So as you can see, I, I like to notify which comics are in my boxes by sticking the stickers on here. So check that out. That's how I do it. So that's how I know cult heroes is in this box because cult heroes is on there. A lot of good stuff in that box as you can see. Looks like I got some Goth Girl, Jupiter Jet. Good stuff in this box. Alright, so that's the. Uh, that brings me to the end of the reviews. Um, I'm no longer going to be ending the show with uh, what's on Kickstarter right now because the taking. making the notes for that uh, takes up too much time and uh, I'm planning on just doing reviews week to week. And then once a month, I will do a Kickstarter episode where I tell you all about the cool stuff that's on Kickstarters. But mainly, I'm going to try and read the comics that are currently on Kickstarter and tell you about those. So I told you about two cool comic books that are on Kickstarter right now. Cult Heroes, number three on Kickstarter. And Vampire Bloodlines, um, number four, is on Kickstarter right now. So check that out. Um, yeah, I'm already back in. I pro you probably saw when I posted, hey, I'm back in this. Next up on my reading is going to be some Miskatonic. There's a lot of good things that are coming out on Kickstarter that I need to read, catch up on. And uh, yeah, Miskatonic is what I'm reading through right now. I've got about three or four issues of that that I've just been collecting in my read pile. So I'm reading them all in one shebang. And uh, cool. So uh, make sure you tell me about the Kickstarters you want me to bring up on the next episode. Because I'm going to be doing that episode next week of uh, Kickstarter Corner, Campaign Corner. And I've been watching, I finished up uh, Cobra Kai in, oh man, I, so I had to work three days in a row. And I watched them, watch Cobra Kai during my breaks, during my breakfasts, and during, during my lunch hour at work. Not an hour, lunch half hour. Anyway, I already finished Cobra Kai super quick and uh, watching it on my phone during break at work. So good, loved it, and uh, yeah, and I finished up um, Star Girl season two. That was really good, loved it. And I'm currently watching uh, started one called The Great with my wife. 
So I'm only watching that when I'm home with my wife. And I'm watching one called Emily in Paris. That one's cool. I'm just watching that with my wife too whenever we feel like it. It's not no rush on those. They're just Netflix ones and just whenever we feel like it. And uh, Boba Fett is coming out pretty good. Can't wait. Loving how that's going. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Just watching some stuff. And as you know, I'm on Patreon. I currently have no Patreon subscribers, but uh, this is how I'm going to do it. If you're a subscriber to me on Patreon, this is what you get is I will hold up a placard that says your name, and I will also show it. It'll have your, it'll have the social, social medias of your name and all that fun stuff. So if you were a subscriber, I'd say, Gary Brantner, thank you for backing me on Patreon. Follow Gary Brantner on Rentnarb at Twitter, Twitter at Rentnarb, and Facebook, Rentnarb Studios Comics. Well, you know, Instagram, whatever, all that fun stuff. And uh, thank you for watching my Best of 2021 episode I did a while ago. Good stuff. And uh, that is all I have for you today. Make sure you, uh, if you do, check out my Peter Pan the Vampire comics. Remember, they are free to read if you digitally download them. And I would love to hear what you think about them. So uh, I, I will be signing off now. And it's been fun. Bye.